Hey guys, this is Ix Rollin Ix with Rollout Reviews, bringing you another Bionicle review. This time it is set number 8531, Pohatu, Toa of Stone. This set was released in 2001 and contains 49 pieces. Pohatu is easily the most unique of the six Toa. We'll take a look at his construction starting from the bottom up. In his standard foot parts, he has some toe extensions. These slide in through the bottom and are locked in place via an axle. They essentially serve as Pohatu's weapons, allowing him to kick even harder. He has some pins stuck in his legs, and just like Gali, these are technically only there for the Toa Kaita combiner model that he's a part of, but they do add a little bit of armor to his legs. The most important characteristic of Pohatu is that the standard toy torso piece has been flipped upside down. His legs attach where all of the other Toa's arms attach, and vice versa. This means he has a gear function in one of his legs, allowing it to swing back and forth. The other one is locked in place. Similarly, his arms are attached via an axle, meaning they are also locked in place. But you can detach them and reattach them at a 90 degree point if you see fit for more articulation. He has some shoulder armor this time around in the form of those ball accents that were on the chest of several of the others. His arms are the shorter piece, and on the end he has the throwbot slicer hand, very similar to Tahu. Pohatu uses the great Kanoi Kakama. Mask of Speed, which allows its user to run at incredible velocities. Looks pretty cool, it's got some vents on the sides and the top, maybe providing a little bit of aerodynamics. It's also the smallest of the six masks, having the littlest amount of plastic. This attaches to the underlying head, which features some bright orange light piping. The head also attaches in a very interesting way. You'll notice this part is very similar to the way Onua's head attaches, but from there it uses one of these connector pieces. The axle that attaches his arms loops through the pinhole. Unfortunately, this connection is questionable and means that the neck is very loose. If you flip Pohatu upside down, the head rattles around. Pohatu is also especially unique in the way he comes with a separate accessory in the form of this system boulder. There's no way of officially storing this on his person, but of course there are ways of displaying it with him. You can set it on the shelf next to him, you can have him hold it in some way, but I think the best way of going about doing it is taking these two studs and plugging them into the pinholes on the bottom of his arm. This gives off the impression that he's propping it on his side like a soccer ball. While all of the other Toa have a gear function that allows their arms to swing forward and back, Pohatu instead performs a kicking action. More specifically, this allows him to kick the boulder he comes with. Unfortunately, the positioning of this gimmick means he's not too useful in the Kanoe game. There is a significant amount of force behind this though, so it is possible to pick him up and kick your opponent right in the mask. That could prove effective. The strong, loud, and friendly Toa of Stone unfortunately lives in a world of second places for me. He's my second favorite Toa character-wise, only to Kopaka, and he's my second favorite Toa set-wise, only to Tahu. That said, in both accounts, only by a small margin. I absolutely love Pohatu. He has the most inspired build and the largest piece count by far. So that is about it, guys, and this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.